I got this one little patch of hair right here being a real pain in the neck. But, anyways, what's up, guys? One Koala Man here, bringing you episode 60 of our fairy tale reviews. And today's episode is, you know, a bit more calmer as, you know, things progress. Not a lot of things are happening at this time in different areas of the story. So, hopefully today will be a little bit easier to review about. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit that like button down below. Be sure to answer the question of the day and follow me on Twitter, both which will be in the description down below. So, check those out. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I welcome every single one of you, new and old, to the channel with wide open arms. And with all of that said and done, guys, let's get this mother underway. So to start today's episode off, Jalal wants to pretty much kill himself because he doesn't want Urza to live with this pain anymore. But in fact, she would live with the pain and she does not want him to die. And she's telling him, you gotta deal with your sins that you've done. And you've got to live, Jalal. I cannot let you die like this, okay? And they're getting really emotional. Urza's crying. And then Brain comes in. And he just came out of freaking nowhere. And Cobra's saying, look, man. Th this punk has this thing rigged up with a destruction spell. It, it, I can't do anything about it. We're pretty much screwed at this point. And Brain's looking at it. And he's like chuckling a little bit. And I'm thinking... This son of a gun is so cocky, but he has a right to be cocky because he points out that he taught Jalal this same spell when he was younger. And what you think is going to happen actually happens. Brain just disarms the spell, and you know what he does to disarm it? This is, this is what he does. This is what he does. That's all he does. He just raises his hand, and then the thing just breaks apart, and now Nirvana is under brain's control and things really start kicking off right now because nirvana is entering its final stage that beam of light has become massive now it's a now it's a massive beam of light and then these giant tentacle looking things are popping out of the ground and connecting to like the center point of nirvana where the beam is coming from and after it's done transforming and whatnot it's like a giant city on giant stilts so it's got like a little platform on the bottom, it's got the city on top, and it's got, I, I think it's like six legs sticking out of it, and it actually moves too, so where it's going, I don't know. But this sucker is massive, and everybody's just looking in awe as to what the freaking heck is just happening right now. And everybody's like getting separated at this point because the city is like, when it was popping out of the ground, Everybody just got separated, and Jalal and Urza are, you know, hanging off the ledge of one of the buildings, I guess. And so, you know, they get back on the building, and Urza's making amends with Jalal, and they end up shaking hands at the end. And I thought that was pretty cool. So now Jalal is one of the good guys, and that is awesome, because Jalal is freaking legit. I know he wasn't on my top five. Well, no, I don't think he was on my top five, but... Maybe he will next time. But anyways, the squad, which is Lucy, Gray, and Natsu, are climbing up one of the tentacles, or one of the legs, and they notice that it starts walking, and since it's a moving object, Natsu gets a little bit motion sick, and he falls off, off of the leg, but luckily, Happy is there to save Natsu's Keister. But anyways, we go back to Cobra and Brain who are talking about what the freaking heck they're gonna do and where they're gonna go with this giant city of Nirvana. And Brain points out that they're gonna walk to like a certain guild hall. He doesn't say which guild hall, he just says we're gonna go by a certain guild hall. Now I'm thinking it's Fairy Tale because Fairy Tale is always getting destroyed. It's like a tradition for Fairy Tale to get destroyed every single arc. But our boy Natsu is not having it. They see a little shining star, which is like Natsu, and he comes through, but then Cobra intercepts Natsu, and turns out that Cubelios, Cobra Snake, can freaking grow wings and fly. That is pretty intense. And so now it's Cobra versus Natsu in a pretty interesting fight, because 
Cobra knows that Nasu can't go on the ground because he gets motion sick. So it's going to be an aerial battle between Cobra and Natsu. But going on to another group of people, we go to Wendy and Carla, who are just, you know, sitting around doing nothing pretty much, just looking at what the heck just happened. And they're like right in the middle of the city. And Carla like looks in awe as like she looks straight and she has like these big old eyes like she's worried about something and she's saying oh no I don't like the way this is going because if this is going where I think it's going the same you know direction is going this Nirvana is just gonna trample over the Kate Shelter Guild so I'm guessing Brain's first target is none other than Wendy's own guild the Kate Shelter Guild and going back onto the fight between Cobra and Natsu is not really going anywhere because Cobra's hearing is just ridiculous so he can hear everything up to Natsu's thoughts and muscles contracting. That's freaking ridiculous. Imagine if he like yelled in his ear. Oh my god. If he were to yell in Cobra's ear, I think Cobra would just be dead. But that's not really going anywhere with the fight and that is the end of the episode of Fairy Tale. Alrighty guys, you already know I don't like to end off these without a question of the day. And today's question of the day is, what place in the world, in the country, whatever, would you want to visit the most out of every single place available? Let me know down in the comment section below. Mine is, I would definitely, definitely want to go to Australia because I want to see the koalas in their natural habitat doing their thing sleeping 18 hours a day the only thing that's a problem with Australia is everything's bigger in Australia I know people say everything's bigger in Texas no 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 everything's bigger in Australia like I I seen a video of this giant spider like bigger than my hand that sucker was huge I ain't having it I'm not really you know scared of spiders necessarily I just don't like big bugs well, I don't know if you would consider a spider a bug. Anyways, that's a subject for a different day. What place would you want to go in the world at some point in your life? So yeah, let me know down in the comment section below. And with all that said and done, guys, keep it cool.